What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon the Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we played against Imokuni. We dueled against him, this strange looking life form, apparently, that had a really interesting deck. Luckily, we had just come off of the Fighting Club and already had a deck that seemed to be pretty well prepared for him, so that's pretty neat. And then we altered the deck, our deck a little bit and headed over to the Psychic Club where. We had a relatively long duel with our first, with the first member, and yeah, that's um, that's kind of where we left off. So let's battle. Who's here? I love the serene music. This is actually really nice. You've won quite a few medals. Okay, let's duel. But I see the future. You will lose. Would you like to duel, Stephanie? Ooh, ooh, that's uh, that's like so passive aggressive. Not even passive aggressive. It's like blatantly aggressive, but it's just not said in a very energetic way. So it just kind of sounds like weirdly conflicting. Okay, a single match with four prizes. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Psychic Club member Stephanie, the strange power deck. Ooh, this is like very like ominous, kind of like shady looking picture too. All right. Let's see what kind of a deck uh, this Stephanie has. Probably a more standard psychic deck, if I had to guess, rather than like the more ghost-based previous one. Do we want to start off with Ghastly? Probably. I'm just going to start off with Ghastly because I know we'll probably hit almost everything super effectively and we might not even be hit super effectively by them. And Tauros, I mean, we wouldn't be able to initially attack anyway, so... Okay, that's all we have right now. Uh, hopefully we draw some energies pretty soon because we're going to want to be able to actually start building up what's on our bench. We'll see what Stephanie has. Mr. Mime. Ooh. And a Mew in the back, apparently. I wish they showed uh, the opponent's bench like right off the bat, but... We'll throw something on Ghastly. Again, let me check. Um, we are not weak to Psychic, while Mr. Mime is. So we should be able to knock this out with two licks, I believe. I don't even remember. Did we get to go first? No, we didn't. All right, let's see here. Didn't even attack. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's convenient. We'll throw a Psychic Energy on... What do I want to throw it on? Probably Rat Tata, so that we can actually have something that damages at some point. And this is going to be a dead Mr. Mime. And then a Mew in the back, which will be weak to our Lick, yet at the same time only be doing 10 damage to us because of Psy Wave. So... Oh, and there's a Lickitung in there. No, Lickitung. Ugh, what a bulky, annoying to deal with Pokemon. This is where I wish... I had thrown more energies on Tauros because I just want to deal damage. For the time being though, we can go into Rattata, which will actually be able to attack this and you know do something noteworthy. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed uh, by this Lickitung's Lick. That said, it doesn't seem like Stephanie has a lot of energies. Yeah, not even able to attack, it, attach that Psychic Energy to, what's it called? Does this have a retreat cost? It doesn't. I think I'm going to go straight into Tauros then. Yeah, because I don't want to risk this thing getting hit by something more powerful. And whenever we go for Stomp, we have a plus 10 to do more damage, or a 50% chance to do more damage. So it makes sense to go with this rather than the Rattata. So super energy removal, ugh. So removes the energy from Mew to get rid of both energies from Tauros, of course. Of course. Now it's going to go for Tongue Wrap. And I think we need energies to... Oh, it's paralyzed too. I think we need energies in order to um, retreat Tauros. If I recall correctly. Yeah, two of them too. So we're stuck in here too. Um, let me check my discard pile. I don't know if... Yeah, those are there. The question is, do I want to... Do I want to use Super Energy Retrieval to start doing that right now? I don't know. I can't do that just yet. Hmm. Or do I wait a turn? Honestly, I don't want to wait a turn. Oh wait, I can get rid of one of these Kadabras and probably Dragonair for the time being. I like Dragonair a lot. I think Dragonair will actually be a really nice addition, but I do more so than anything want these Psychic energies back so that I can at the very least attack with my Tauros, let alone retreat to, you know, get my Rattata in there or something like that. Oh my god, energy removal everywhere. 
At least it got rid of it on Rattata as opposed to Tauros, but man, is that annoying. Okay, well, we don't have a full heal, which is going to be annoying. We do have a potion, so we can heal off this damage. At least the damage up until this point. And now we can at least retreat. I mean, once we're able to, but... Okay, now I feel like we're doing a little bit better. But we need to not get paralyzed, and Stephanie needs to stop using all of these energy removals. Jeez. Can we please not get paralyzed? Okay, finally. Finally not getting paralyzed. Okay, we drew maintenance. That's not bad. I kind of want to throw Kadabra onto this Abra. Mm, do I want to do that just yet? Maybe not. I'll hang on to it for the time being. Do I want to throw a Psychic Energy on something, though? Probably Rattata, so that I can have that ready to actually do some like consistent damage. And yeah, I don't need to go for Rampage just yet, unlike that last game, where I almost threw that away. Okay, so this is why I want to go into Taurus as opposed to Rattata, because now we put it in range of a 2-hit KO as opposed to a 3-hit KO. <laughs> that was my dog yawning in the background. Oh, Lacey. You're a good girl. Oh my goodness, so cute dogs. I'm such a dog person. We just got a puppy a little bit ago. Not a little bit ago, about a year ago. Or roughly like nine months ago. But the puppy is now about a year old. And she's so cute, so cute. Um, okay, we'll throw a Jinx on the bench and we'll attack with a Stomp and knock out this Lickitung. Oh, only for another Lickitung to come in, I'm sure. At least at this point, we have Switch, so if we have a ton of energies removed for whatever reason, we can uh, deal with that. We get a double colorless energy, that's nice. What do I want to throw that on, though, is the question. I'm probably going to save it for the time being, but it would be nice for Rattata if we got a Raticate. Now, I could KO this with Rampage, but I don't want to risk getting confused afterwards, especially when I don't anticipate a lot coming out of this. Um, actually, let me check real quick. I think it has... Oh, it's not that one Slowpoke. There's one Slowpoke that can remove one of its energy counters each turn. But that is that is not this one. So I think the play here is to just go for Stomp. And, I mean, we'll do a KO regardless. And save the, the Rampage for when I'm about to die. Finally. Oh, of course. Of course. What's it going to go for? Psyshock. Now it's got a chance to paralyze us. Should have just knocked it out while I could have. But now we can go for Rampage and knock out this Slowbro. Oh, we didn't receive damage due to resistance. Oh, that's right. Yo, this is clean. This is clean. We don't even need to go for Rampage at this point. We'll throw a Psychic on... On... Jinx. And... We'll attack with Stomp. I was concerned. Like, I thought that it would be a problem, but... We're not even taking damage, so even if we do get paralyzed, like it's not the end of the world because it's not like we're we have limited health that's whittling away. Oh, and there comes Mew. Can't go for Devolution Beam, and Psy Wave is only going to do 20 damage, so it's going to be resisted. So even if we attach another energy to Tauros, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Do I want to play a Kadabra at this point? Hmm. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Stomp here. We have a chance. We have a pretty good chance to 2-hit KO this. And there we go. And now the most damage he can do with this Mew is 20, which is not going to be a lot. Oh, Slowbro is going to take one of those damage counters away. We get a Meowth. We'll throw that on the bench because the double colorless energy can actually benefit that quite a bit. I should have thrown another Psychic onto Jinx. I don't know what I was thinking, but... Now we have another decent chance. We have a 50-50 chance of KOing this Mew. We don't. It's not the end of the world, though. Because, again, it's not going to be able to do anything to us. And in comes Lickitung. Ugh, oh, it can go for Lick. Not Lick. Tongue Wrap. Why do I keep saying Lick? Because of Lickitung. That's 100% why. Okay, so... Rampage will now do 50 damage. 50 damage. So I'm going to want to go for a Stomp and then go for Rampage and knock out this Lickitung. I think that's the play here. Yeah, because worst case scenario, what is the worst case scenario? We'll do 50 damage this turn, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna attack with Stomp right now. If we get the plus 10, that's great. 
that's actually perfect because next turn we'll take 10 damage and that means our Rampage will actually do 60, which means it'll be in range. Trade one of the basic Pokemon or Evolution cards in your hand for one of the basic oh, from the deck. Ooh. Wait, it traded a Hypno for a Mr. Mime. Interesting. Now, if we don't get paralyzed, we win. But we get paralyzed. Of course. Of course. Oh well. Um, not the end of the world. I don't think Stephanie's going to switch at this point. We get Eradicate, which is pretty cool. We'll play that and evolve our Eradicate. Um, but aside from that, there isn't really much else we can do. Yeah, there isn't really much else I want to do this turn, so we'll wait. And if we get paralyzed this turn, that's really going to suck. Like, really going to suck. Oh, and we do. Oh, man. So we can't even retreat. This is going to be a dead Tauros. And we've already used our potion. I don't think I have any other way to get rid of this thing. Can I... Can I use Switch? Oh, I can. I can use Switch. That's awesome. Okay, then I'm going to go and eradicate. I didn't know that would still work. That's awesome. And what we can do is attach this to Eradicate so that we can go for Super Fang. That'll do 30 damage. We can start working on this. I wonder, is Toro still paralyzed? Or does it cure its paralysis when it goes out? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Or maybe we won't, actually. If we get paralyzed, that's rough. Oh well. Um, only does 10 damage. Not the end of the world. Draw Fire Energy. Interesting. What can we play that on? What do I want to play that on? Probably... Oh, Tauros is still paralyzed. Oh no, it's not. It's not paralyzed. Oh, that's good to know. Then I can I can probably take advantage of that um, later on at some point. I'm going to throw this Fire Energy on... on Jinx for a potential Meditate later on. Yeah, so if you switch out, you cure Paralysis. So at some point, I mean... Actually, yeah, what I could do is if I don't get paralyzed, which I don't, rather than go for Bite and have to spend two turns, what I can actually do is retreat into my Tauros and go for Rampage. And that should be it. Let me check real quick in the play area. Oh, wait, I still have two prize cards I need to get. Okay, then never mind. I don't want to do that just yet. Although, do I want to go for Rampage? Nah. I just got Professor Oak. It's not bad. I think, I think I'll go for Bite. Hmm. Let me check. Is there a retreat cost on this? Yeah, there is. There's one. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go for Bite here. I could retreat into Tauros and then go for Rampage, but that would I wouldn't want to do that afterwards. Um, oh, he's going to go for Plus Power. Do 20 damage with this Tongue Wrap. Okay, we don't get paralyzed, so that's going to be a dead lick of tongue, and that should be a good game. That should be it for the first time around. Get an Electiva is not going to matter. Oh, there's not even space. Alright, we're just going to attack with Bite, and that should be good. Alright. And we got our last prize. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I totally thought... Wait a minute. Why did I get ahead of... Why do I get ahead of myself like that? Okay. Let's see here. What else is going on? Ooh, so he places a Snorlax on the bench. What is this? This can, Snorlax can't become asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. Whoa. Snorlax have Pokemon power. That seems really good, actually. That seems really good. Okay, so now the play is to retreat into my Tauros. And go for the, uh, what's it called? The Rampage. And that should seal the match. Nice. Snorlax looks really cool. That's a card we don't have yet. I, I, I kind of want that. It looks really good in my opinion. But you won the duel with Stephanie. Nice. So it's a good start. I'll take that. Can't believe my prediction was wrong. Well, I can. Because we're the winners. <laughs> no. Um, we got Lass. What? You and your opponent show each other your hands. Then shuffle all the trainer cards from your hands into your decks. Interesting. Magmar, Dodrio, Slowbro. Okay, nothing. Oh, we got a Venonat. I don't think I have a Venonat. Mr. Mime. Oh, we got a Mr. Mime. Apparently, there's an interesting like loop, a damage loop you can use with Mr. Mime, Tentacool, and ooh, Alakazam, maybe? I think. 
Ooh, Pokedex. I don't think we have that either. Look it up to five cards from the top of your deck and rearrange them as you like. Ooh, that's pretty neat. I like that idea. Tangela. Tangela looks pretty cool. Okay, so we got some neat cards. I see a vision. You're dueling me again. <laughs> Are we, though? Are we, though? I think we're moving on to your friend over here. Murray finally came up with a new strategy. He's in a very good mood. So we'll probably duel you now. By the way, would you duel me? Would you like to duel Daniel? Yeah, sure. Let's play with four prizes. Oh, man, another four prize match. Where are these, like, two prize, three prize matches from, like, the water gym and stuff? Psychic Club member Daniel with the nap time deck. Oh, no, he's going to be putting my Pokemon to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't want to deal with that this whole match. That's going to be so annoying. At least, I guess, actually, sleep isn't as bad as paralysis. What do I want to start with? Meowth. Rat do I have any energies? I have a double colorless energy, so I'm going to use Meowth to start off because it'll resist the psychic types and I can use the double colorless energy in Payday to start getting some more cards, hopefully some more energies right off the bat, especially because I've got Eradicate in the back. Maybe it would have been better to start off with that, to be honest. Actually, no, I still like starting off with Payday. I like accumulating more cards earlier on. Hypnosis. Oh, at least we have a 50-50 chance of waking up in between turns. And we wake up, nice. So we'll be able to get another 50-50 chance to get another card. We'll attack with Payday, do a little bit of damage, and now here's the real deal. Do we get the card? We do get the card, nice. Hopefully we get in energy, nice. So we can start building up some stuff on the bench. That's the whole point. I mean, we're doing damage, obviously. Well, he's not with his Hypnosis. Although, there's some really cool moves like that Haunter move where it does 10 damage in addition to putting the Pokemon to sleep. We don't wake up, sadly. So we're not going to get another chance to really do much. But every time we do, it's you know always a good thing. We're getting more energies, which is always good. I'm going to want to throw the Psychic on Jinx for the time being. And can't attack. Okay. Um, do I want to throw anything on the bench? I'll probably throw Ghastly on the bench. And I'll probably level up Raticate. Or Rattata into Raticate. Do we wake up? Oh, we don't. So now we give him the opportunity to go for something other than Hypnosis. That is, assuming he has energies to attach and to time to go for that uh, attack. Oh, we just still don't wake up. Okay, maybe I changed my mind about the whole paralysis and sleep thing. This is getting annoying real fast. We'll throw Taurus on the bench and we'll give a Psychic Energy to, to Raticate because we don't have a lot of other energies. And Raticate can at least do 20 damage once, it, um, once it's in battle. Whereas Taurus will require two energies, and I can't guarantee we'll get another energy anytime soon. I wonder if you can retreat while you're asleep. Alright, we wake up, which is nice. But I wonder if you can retreat while you're asleep. That'll probably be good to know. We get another Tauros. Throw that on the bench. There is no space on the bench. Okay, then. I need more cards. I need more cards. We have at least a lot of base Pokemon that we have on the bench ready to, ready to build up. It's a, it's a good problem to have in my opinion. Paris. Aw, oh, Paris. Paris kind of looks cute. Kind of looks cute. I never really thought that before, but there's a, there's a YouTuber I watch, Charla in Japan, that really likes Paris, and it kind of opened my eyes a little bit to it. Oh, we woke up. Nice. Nice. We get another Psychic Energy. Cool. What do we want to give that to? Probably... We want to give it to Jinx? Probably Jinx, to be honest. Yeah, I like that idea. Because now Jinx can almost go for a Meditate, whereas we have, you know, um, what's called Raticate that can go for a Bite. And Taurus, again, is still going to require two more energies. Ooh, and we get Magmar. Neat. We finally get the chance to use this Magmar, potentially. Hypnosis. Oh, it's almost at the point where it can go for, what is it, Egg Bomb or something else? Do you think he's maybe going to perpetually go for Sleep and then only on turns where I'm still asleep actually attack me? I don't know. I don't want to give him the chance to... Oh man, we have Magmar, Tauros, and Scyther. It's such like a... Our deck right now. But I don't want to give him the chance to evolve into Executor and go for something like Egg Bomb, which is four coin flips, and it does 20 damage per coin flip. Oh, he retreats into Paris. Huh. What is this Paris? What can this Paris do? I want to check out that card. Let's see here. Scratch and Spore. So at two Leaf Energies, it can go for Spore, and at two Energies and just in general, it can do 20 damage. Okay, so that's good to know. Do I want to throw another Psychic Energy on Tauros? Do I want to throw it on Jinx? I probably want to throw it on Jinx so it can go for Meditate, to be honest. Just so, like that's all like ready to go. 
And we can go for Payday, hopefully get some more, get some more cards flowing. And we do, nice. What are we gonna draw? Another Psychic Energy, awesome. So we're getting a bunch of our energies now. We started off with a ton of Pokemon, but now we're starting to finally build up, get our Pokemon ready for battle so that when they come in, they can actually do something rather than just sit around and have to develop. Oh, it healed the Execute. Now this thing can go for Scratch. Hmm. I got a Fire Energy, that's pretty cool. I'll throw that on Magmar that's not out right now. And I'll throw this Psychic Energy on what what do I want to throw this on? Probably... Probably Ghastly? No, that's not the Ghastly I really like. I should probably just remove this Ghastly from my deck. I'll probably throw it on Dratini for the sake of having it... Being able to use Pound. Hmm... Let me check my card real quick. Retreat cost is one energy and it would be a double colorless energy in this particular instance. Let me check my opponent's play area. What is this weak to? Its weakness is Fire. I could retreat and go into Jinx. I think that might be my better play right now. So let's do that. And what we can do is attack with Meditate, which should knock this out. Yeah, I think that was the better play. Save our Meowth. And what comes in and Execute. And we'll knock that out with Meditate next turn too, so... Not bad. There's another Paris. Hypnosis. Hopefully hopefully we wake up in between turns. Either way, I mean, it's not going to be doing too much damage to us. Oh, we wake, we wake up. Nice. So that's going to be a dead execute. Get another Dratini. Man, we have so many Pokemon now. So many Pokemon. I don't want to throw my fire, one of my like two fire energies onto something that's not Magmar, especially when we have Magmar in our hand. Super energy retrieval. Okay. Have we discarded any energies though? I don't think we have. Oh, we've, we've actually the double colorless energy. We discarded that. So two Meditates are going to knock out this Execute. I love that. Meditate is such a cool move. It gets stronger the more you use it. It's kind of like Metronome, the item Metronome. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but uh, basically when you use the item, or when the item Metronome is used in the video games, of course, uh, as you do an attack, it gets slightly more powerful and it gets exponentially more powerful. So that by, four, so like, the second turn you use something in a row, it'll do like slightly more damage, like maybe like two or three percent. And then like the turn after it'll be like five or six percent. And the turn after it'll be like 10 or 15. The turn after it'll be like 30 or 40. And the turn after that it'll be like 80 to 100 or something like that. Something ridiculous. So the point like it gets up to be a maximum of double the damage it would normally do. So it's pretty cool if you plan on like spamming a particular move or something like that. We can throw this on Tauros. And now we can go for another Meditate and knock this out, which is pretty hype because then we're only one KO away from from winning this duel and then being at the Clubmaster. And this Paris isn't going to last long, that's for sure. Especially with no energies. Or just one energy, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't think there's really much else to do. I mean, I'll throw another Psychic Energy on something just to be safe, I guess. But we're just going to go for Meditate. And yeah, that's, that's kind of going to be it. This thing only has 20 HP left. I know he's got an Execute or two in the back. Is he going to switch out? No. No, he's not even going to give himself a, any chance, I guess. We'll just attack, and that should be game. Man, we had so many Pokemon. That was such a strange, such a strange game, in my opinion. All right, and there's the last prize. So... We won the duel with Daniel. Cool. You're no ordinary player if you can defeat me. All right, let's see what cards we got. Anything interesting? Oh, we got a Gengar, cool. Oh, and it's got that move, Dark Mind. I like this move. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, choose one of them and this attack does 10 damage to it. So it does 30 damage and then 10 damage to one of the bench Pokemon. I really like that move. That's so cool. I'm so glad we got that. And got a Squirtle. I don't know how many Squirtles we have. Probably not too many, but I'm sure we have him. Ooh, Jolteon. Whoa, this looks cool. I really like this Jolteon. That's really neat. Quick attack. Plus 20 more damage. If Tails is attack does 10 damage. Okay, not bad. Flip four coins. 20 damage times the number of heads. Pin Missile. That looks strong. That looks really strong, actually. I kind of want to give it a go at some point. And okay, I guess that's it. Next time we play, I'm going to win. I'm sure, I'm sure. 
All right, so next up is Murray, the club master. That said, I don't think we have enough time for him in this episode. I know it's a little bit short, especially after that really long last episode. So I hope you guys don't mind this sort of like inconsistency, but I feel like we're moving through the psychic, uh, the psychic club pretty well. I mean, I know psychic is, you know, one of the OP types, but I feel like we kind of prepped pretty well for it. We have a decent deck that's built for psychic types in general, and it's, it's working out pretty decently. So hopefully that continues when we fight the club master, Murray in the next episode, but until then, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.